How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to The Ultimate Guide to Black Holes by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I'm super excited to dive into this. I, I will admit I was going to do the gold one. I really was. And then I saw the black hole and I immediately distinctively just jumped onto the black hole because I am a sucker for anything that has to do with like black holes or just talking about black holes or like theories about black holes, like what black holes could do, what is the capabilities of black holes, anything black holes in general, I am a sucker for. So uh, I was going to do the gold one. But I saw this one, so I apologize if you really want me to see the gold one. It's coming up, but I saw the black hole one, and damn it, I need to react to this one. So, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I literally just did a Cursed Gat video, so uh, yeah, there's not much to say. I just really want to dive into this. So without any further ado, here is the ultimate guide to black holes. Black holes are the most oh, I love it. And extreme things in the universe. Yeah, they are. Wildly weird and complicated. Like me. What would happen <laughs> if you inside one, and what are they really? Let's find out. Monkey! Kind of hoping the monkey would have a black hole, but that would be illogical. First, we need oh. to talk about space and time. It's adorable. Space and time are the grand stage where the play of the universe unfolds. Coming more and more creepy. Isn't a fixed stage, Thank you. And time doesn't tick the same for everyone everywhere. In short, they're relative. Matter bends space, Wee. and bent space tells matter. We <laughs> get it, bro. Put some stars and planets on the stage, and it sacks underneath them. <sighs> that misshapen stage, with all its little warps and dips, gives us gravity. Yes. Black holes do not just Part bend up. the stage. They Cake is like alive. Doors. Knew it. <laughs> so much mass that the universe formed a no-go zone where the rules change. This is cool. This is Most so cool. Most black holes form when very massive stars <sighs> die. We Love it. We explained this process in detail in our neutron star video. Yes. All you need to know now is that in the final moments of really massive stars, their insides implode at nearly a quarter of the speed of light. I ah, love it. I this love it so much. I love so space. Much mass so close together, creating something so dense that it sort of breaks oh. the stage. Of the <laughs> a black hole with ten times the mass of the sun would be barely sixty kilometers across. If you look directly at a black hole, it looks oh, like am I not supposed to? nothing. Okay. The space under their control is blocked by an invisible one-way border called the event horizon. Oh. The event horizon forms a shell around a region of space that once entered is shielded from the rest of the universe forever. Forever, the you black say? Because the trapdoor deforms space so much, not even <laughs> light can escape it. And with nothing escaping to transfer information from the inside, it's impossible to tell what it really looks like. <laughs> we can still observe black holes so yeah, I'm done with this. Effect on matter. Ooh. Things can orbit black holes just as they can orbit the sun or a planet. Many black holes have disks of matter orbiting outside the event horizon. Thank you. This matter can become incredibly hot as close orbit. That guy's just like me. Whatever. Up to half the speed of light, and okay. tiny amounts of friction and collisions between particles oh, snap. heat them to a billion degrees. Making the space around uh, these black holes ironically incredibly bright. It's what would beautiful. What would happen if you were to try to get close or even inside a black hole? First of all, you'd Ooh. see the strangest funhouse mirror in the universe. Interesting. I the like only that. Thing orbiting a black hole, Whee! gravity is so strong near them that light can orbit too. Okay. If you hovered just outside the event horizon at the photon sphere in any direction, you just see yourself. Straight That's bonkers, dude. Your head, as light from your back travels around the black hole to your eyes. Come on, this is gravity cool stuff. Also alters the passage of time itself. I cannot be the only one the geeking stronger out. The the gravity, the slower time passes. While you watch the universe above you speed up, <laughs> those Am I far away will watch you in slow motion. Red's always sus. If you chose to fly away from the black hole, you might find that eons have passed for the rest of the universe. Dang. In freakish one-way time. So that one movie was right. Future, where your loved ones home sweet are home. Long dead. Oh no. But getting close to a black hole can be incredibly dangerous. Hi. A painful death by spaghettification awaits you. Okay. This is because the most common one, like cartoons and stuff. Than your head, they feel a stronger pull of gravity. Yikes. Enough to pull you. Oh apart. no. 
As you descend, it Imagine how that would feel the pulling gets stronger, if you'd feel anything. Your body squeezed thinner and straighter until you've been reduced to a thin stream of hot plasma gobbled up in one final slurp, never to be seen again. Interesting. Speciation is only a risk with smaller black holes since they have much smaller radii. Yeah, go to the makes sense. The galaxy, Logical. You find a supermassive black hole. Hello. You might be able to experience crossing the event horizon. Oh. As you approach the event horizon, a distant observer would think they never saw you enter it, seeing you stop and fade. The last light you emit, trickling up and out, away from the event horizon. What? Meanwhile, from your perspective, the void of the black hole rises up to meet you as light from fewer directions can reach you. The blackness envelops you until your only view of the universe you left is a tiny spot of light. Here, Bro. Horizon, space and time are so horribly broken like all the references travel is possible. So it's probably a good thing that nothing gets out. I've seen things. If anything could escape, it could create all sorts of time travel paradoxes and issues that would break the universe. <laughs> oh no. As scary as the event horizon is, it keeps Hello. you safe from that. You're drama. welcome. Thank you, I guess. Survive this long doesn't really it's like on uh, Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> the certainty of crushing death in ah! the future. Inside the event horizon, space time itself is so bent and warped that whatever direction you move here, every forward you go leads only towards the center of the black hole. Trying to go in any direction only brings okay. you to the center faster. That's to cool. To survive the longest, you must do nothing. nothing. In the center of the black hole, we find the singularity. A single point with all the matter that has ever crossed the event horizon, <sighs> all crushed to a point infinitely small. Oh, that's there bizarre. Is no memory of the things that made it as stuff disappears down the black hole trapdoor forever. Same as always. <laughs> the singularity makes all things equal. This actually breaks Whoa. the universe in really cool ways. Whoa. We've made a video about this problem if you want to learn more. But in a nutshell, everything that comes too close he to said it? black hole matter concentrated at the singularity. Oh. This lack of a memory of its past means that a black hole has only three properties. It's mass, spin, and electric charge. Nice. Everything else is lost. Oh. They're a lot like fundamental particles in that respect. Okay. This actually means that every single black hole in the universe is the same. Sure, their mass is different, and some spin faster than others. Okay. But if we were to put all the singularities into a magical physics museum, they'd be identical, like electrons. But huh. just like fundamental particles, the properties of singularities are the best ways we can describe them on paper, rather than an accurate representation of reality. Huh. Our current theories about the universe, namely general relativity, are just not able to describe or explain them. The curvature of space becomes infinite, density becomes infinite, and our rules just don't make sense. The singularity Black holes are dope, no man. surface or size, Something like a divide by zero error in the universe. Okay. So singularities might not even exist or be completely different things. But this is all we know right now from the best prediction we have from our best current theory of space time. Also, basically, very, very we've impressive heard about stuff, black holes, man. Even in this video, is about theoretical black holes that aren't spinning because their maths is so much easier. Yes. But since Ooh. black holes were born from dying stars that were spinning extremely quickly in their final moments, as far as we know, all black holes in the universe should be spinning right now. At incredible speeds, too, up to 90% of the speed of light. This means that in reality, black holes are even more screwed up than they usually get credit for. The singularities of rotating oh, black holes man. are even wilder. The rotation causes them to swell outwards into a sort of ringularity. Okay, don't tell this Sonic. This rotation is so powerful that space itself is dragged along. This creates another region around spinning black holes called the ergosphere, where it's impossible to stay still no matter how hard you try. Huh. Like a rushing whirlpool of space-time, <laughs> the tide is Roger that. And Do a barrel roll. Makes you orbit, <laughs> whether you want to or not. Oh no! Okay. So what will happen to black holes as the universe ages and dies around them? Again, we don't know, but we have some ideas based on our current understanding. Let me of hear physics. him. Hawking Ooh. radiation. In quantum field theory, the vacuum of space is boiling with quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations are creating matter and antimatter pairs Ooh. of particles from nothing, which only exist for a very short time before annihilating. 
Okay. When this happens near the event horizon of a black hole, one of these particles can uh -huh. fall in, stopping them from annihilating. Okay. The escaping particle is Hawking radiation. Ultimately, the mass of this particle must come from the black hole. It's so beautiful. Both the of black holes will shrink and radiate away. Hawking radiation is not the stuff that fell into the black hole. It's new stuff, stealing my mass now. Out. As the black hole shrinks, the Hawking radiation gets stronger, faster and faster, oh, snap. until what's left eventually evaporates in a flash blow. of high energy oh. radiation like a nuclear bomb. And oh, then, okay. nothing. But that won't happen for a long, long time. <laughs> a black hole with the mass of our sun has a lifetime of 10 to the power of 67 years. Which means that it would take 10,000 billion, 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 billion years to lose <laughs> 0. 0.00000 my God. of its mass. Oh my God. But most black holes are way more massive than our sun. The most massive supermassive black holes in the centers of galaxies that is have scary. lifetimes of 10 to the power of 100 years. How long is that? Let's see those zeros. Imagine an hourglass. Okay. Filled with one grain of sand for every single particle in the universe. Gotcha. Every 10 billion That'd be a dope years, hourglass. one single grain of sand falls to the bottom. If we waited for all the sand to fall down, not even 1% of the lifetimes of these black holes. Basically a baby. <laughs> There is no My God! To help our brains grasp these times. Oh, I love black holes so much. Will we ever truly? And they're so beautiful. Black holes? Really know what's going on inside them? No one knows. We can only see their outsides. All the, the mystery. We have probably get their insides wrong. Yes. But it's okay to not know everything. It just means there's still work to be done. Yes. It means there are still mysteries to solve Fire. and big ideas to think about. Which is why humans do science. In Basically. The end, we can at least be sure that we still have plenty of time left to think about them before the last one melts away. Oh, it's so good. If you want to continue thinking about black holes, you can do oh. so by getting one of the many black hole related things. Oh, you don't say. Actually, huh? Like hold up, hold up. Black hole infographic poster. Got him. <laughs> He's gonna be here for the for the majority of the video. The rest of the video. Adventure poster that takes you on a spectacular ride and might that's amazing. Need of a cuddle. In which case, we've made a black hole and white hole plushie. And if that's still I need new plushies. Just released super comfy space socks, very shiny space pants, oh. a new tote bag and pouch set, and we have many other great space yes. products that are all that is designed awesome. with love and care by us here at Kurzgesagt. Getting something from our shop is the best way of supporting Kurzgesagt while getting something beautiful in return. Yes. Because of you, we can keep making elaborate videos like the one you just watched. And I love every minute of them. Everyone, thank you so much for your support. I thank you for a, that's amazing. That thumbnail is amazing. <laughs> Alright, that was really, really insightful. Like always, every single video that Kurtz Get does is very insightful, like through and through. But this one, I really enjoyed. Like, more than the majority of them that I've watched. I mean, like, I don't think I talked the majority of that video. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I didn't talk the majority. I was just in awe, like, with, throughout the entire video. Like, I love, that's how much I love space. Like, I love black holes and stuff. They fascinate me so much and just... Learning any information about them is, like, good enough for me. I just soak it up like a sponge. I love it so much. But, yeah, it raises a lot of questions. Like, this is, like, the majority of what he said was just theoretical stuff. Like, we actually don't know that much about black holes. And like he said, this is about, like, a standing still black hole. But black holes are spinning, so we really don't know. So... All of that stuff is so, so cool. It's just this thing in the universe. Like, we know it's there, but what is it? Like, essentially, it's really, really cool. What does it do? Like, and then, like, the you have theories and stuff like that about, like, what if they're doorways? Like, every black hole, like you said, like, every black hole seemingly looks the same. But what if it is the same? Like, what if it's just an opening and it's just a doorway and stuff like that? But that goes into, like, more theory terrain and stuff like that. Like, I thought a lot about black holes and stuff like that. I really, really enjoy them. But, yeah. This video was awesome. I was in awe the majority of the time. I really enjoyed it so much, but yeah, super awesome. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later days.